Hey guys, it's Marcus Marco. Welcome back. Well, there's nothing really to welcome back. I would be saying welcome back because this was supposed to be episode 2, but this is actually episode 1. Um, I started playing this uh, tonight, actually. I was going to post it tomorrow, and it might not be posted tomorrow, uh, August 24th. But when I record it, my audio didn't record, which means I couldn't edit the video, which means I couldn't post it. So, in turn, you missed the tutorial, but that's okay. It was just telling me how to play the game and all that stuff, and I actually know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! just a little bit. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and explain everything I did in the first episode, even though this is technically the first episode. Um, so, I've been missing for a good four weeks. Um, I've been moving and starting college, but I'm officially moved in. I've officially started college. I've gotten a hold of everything. So I'm finally able to start recording, and the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm going to finish posting uh, Twilight Princess, because all the episodes are recorded. I just got to throw them out there and everything, and it's going to be awesome once that's done. And then Kingdom Hearts, and then this game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelists, will kick off. Uh, but it's going to be posted to relatively soon, probably tomorrow and I might record one tomorrow night. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, so let's go ahead and start this off with the heart of the cards. Basically what happened in Duelist Kingdom is it was like uh, Yugi wants to is a really good uh, player and uh, Joey wants to learn how to play. So here you go. Anyways, that afternoon Yugi and his friends went to Grandpa's game shop. Yugi wanted to show his friends his Grandpa's prized possession. Gramps, could you show my friends your awesome super rare card? Rare card? You mean my special card? Hmm. Please, please. I don't even wanna. Aha, how could I refuse? You kids are in for a treat. I don't take this card out too often. Ready? Here it is. The Blue Eyes White Dragon. So rare, so powerful, I never let it leave my hands. This card is priceless. There are only four of them in all the world. Suddenly, a classmate from school ran into the shop. His name is Seto Kaiba, the young CEO of Kaiba Corp. He had found the card he was looking for. Name your price for the blue eyes. I can pay anything you ask. I'm sure you could, but this card is worth more to me than you could ever offer. Senile fool! Kaiba stormed out of Grandpa's shop. The team was disrupted, or dis disturbed by Kaiba's obsession with the blue eyes white dragon. Next day, when Yugi came back to the store with his friends, he found Grandpa was gone. When the phone rang, it was Kaiba on the other end, mocking you that he, mocking Yugi, he kidnapped his grandfather and took him to Kaiba Corp. Yugi and his friends rushed to Kaiba Corp and found Grandpa laying on the floor, defeated. Grandpa, are you okay? Yugi, I failed. I wanted to teach that boy Kaiba a lesson about the heart of the cards, but I lost. Grandpa, how's the old man feeling? <laughs> Kaiba, you sleaze! What have you done to him? We had a duel, that's all. With each of us putting up our most valuable card as the prize. But I guess playing against a champion like myself was just too much stimulation for the old fool. Kaiba, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at the sweet prize I won. Kaiba held up Grandpa's blue eyes white dragon and ripped it in half. Grandpa's most treasured card! Blue Eyes White Dragon is a rare and powerful card, and this one will never be used against me. My Blue Eyes White Dragon! My treasure! Grandpa, hold on! How could you do such a thing? Yugi, take this! Huh? Grandpa? I built this deck. I put my soul in these cards. I taught you everything I know. Yugi, take my cards and teach Kaiba. Teach Kaiba respect for the heart of the cards. Okay, Grandpa, I'll do it. Are you ready to play, Runt? Playtime is over, Kaiba. And the Egyptian music plays. Huh? Kaiba was taken aback by Yugi's sudden transformation. It seemed like he had become a different person, as if he was more confident and powerful than before. Kaiba, prepare yourself, because it's time to duel. It's time to d d d d Okay, that's good. Stupid. Stop. I'm gonna pick scissors. Wow, he beat me again. Last time I only picked rock and he picked paper. But he's going first, and I'm going second. That's perfectly fine by me. Okay, so I lost last time because 
Well, golly. I lost last time because he summoned blue eyes white dragon. Anyways, he summoned blue eyes white dragon on the first, like, freaking second turn. I had nothing. So let's see here. Draw three cards and discard this. Then discard two cards. Well, I don't really have two cards to discard. So I'm going to go ahead and set the mystical elf in defense mode. And I'm going to set this and set this. I know that's probably a stupid move. I'm not going to go in the battle phase. But if I let him get two cards out, he could summon the blue eyes. Or can he summon it now? No. Okay. Well, I'm safe. Whew. Alright. So let's see. That thing has 1,800 attack points. I don't really have anything to get rid of that. But I don't really have anything to put in defense that can protect from it. So I'm going to go ahead and set this for now. Because there's not much I can really do. I don't want to activate it because there aren't two cards I want to get rid of. But I also don't want to set anything either. But I don't want him to summon the blue eyes. He's going to heal. Alright. Oh, it's Karibo! Oh, it's little Karibo! During your opponent's turn at damage calculation, you can discard this card. You take no damage from battle. Ooh. I don't want to set that yet, though. Okay, I'm going to summon this. No, I'm not. I'm going to set this. Just to spook him. Because I kind of—I don't really have any good cards right now. I just got to believe in the heart of the cards. And hope that I don't have to surrender on the... This time. Alright, he's gone. Oh, here it comes. Yep. Mm-mm-mm. Well, there's nothing I can really do. This creature should lack size. Okay. Basically, I've just got to kind of hold off. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this so he can't attack for a while. While I basically just wait it out. Because I don't really have anything else I can do right now. Alright. Equip only two monster your opponent controls. Take control of the... Ooh. Unless he has something to stop me. I don't care if he gets a thousand. I just took his blue eyes. Flip summon. Change to attack position. Go to battle phase. Go ahead and do it. I don't care if he... Oh, he's negating attack. Crap. Alright. Should have seen that coming, though. He can't attack me for another turn, though. He can go ahead. Go ahead. He can have all the life points he wants. I got his blue eyes. Alright. Oh my gosh. He has so many life points. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. What is this thing? Have a monster with 15 us. Deck your hand. Awesome. Uh, we don't want to do that right now, though. We're going to summon this and attack. And I'm going to... Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. Go into battle phase. And I want to use him to attack this one. Okay, good. Oh, wait, what? Oh, he gets the show. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, let's see what this was. Okay, cool. So he just lost 3,000 life points, and he just lost 800 life points. But basically, my mystical elf is very vulnerable right now. So I'm probably going to lose some life points once the mystical revealing line is done. Alright. Send me something good. What's this? 
Activate this card by target wall monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position. Destroy this card. That might actually be something good to set. Alright, I'm going to do the same thing I did before and attack with this one. Oh wait, not you. I didn't want to do that. Oh well. I thought I had it on the other guy. I guess not. Oh well. He'll still get a nice chunk of damage. I know he's getting healed a thousand every turn, but I'm doing more damage to him than he's healing up. And I got his blue eyes, so I mean, I pretty much got this unless he figured out a way to get rid of it. Uh-oh. Is he gonna... Yeah, sure. Rip in peace. Yeah, he can't do anything to me right now. Alright, which one of these? You have a higher attack, so I'm gonna summon you. Alright, go into battle phase. You're the only one that can attack him, so... I wish I didn't have to see this animation. I mean, it's pretty alright, I guess. Alright, now attack. I don't think I want it here, but I sure got close. Oh, I'm 200 off. Yep, I'm 200 off. But I won at least, I'm pretty sure. Just because I got control of his blue eye. Oh wait, he's going to heal. Yeah, whatever. Man, I didn't even get the Exodia pieces. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Oh, I love that card. I'm just going to go ahead and attack, though. Because I don't feel like being overkill. I'm going to attack with you. Ah, I could have attacked with any of them except the elf. Alright, I'm going to kill you with your own blue eyes. Rip in peace. I win! You play only for power, Kaiba. That is why you lost. But if you put your heart in the game, there's nothing you can't do. The results of the duel spread quickly, and a mysterious one-eyed man gets news of Yugi's victory. Hmm. It seems Kaiba Boy. <laughs> was it Kaiba Boy? Oh, Yugi Boy. Kaiba Boy has been defeated in a duel. I must learn more about this Yugi Moto. Or should I say Yugi Boy? So now I got a new duel I can do, the Great Moth. Uh, I got a new reverse duel, which is Heart of the Cards. I can now use that. I got a new deck recipe. I got a booster pack. Okay. And I got a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Wow, I got a lot of stuff. All right. So instead of doing another battle, uh, because we're at 13 minutes, I'm going to go to the card shop now that we got our first booster pack. So, now I can spend 200 of the DP that I've been getting to get new cards. And I can make my own deck, which I do plan on using my own deck in later things, but not right now. Uh, let's see here. We have... These cards aren't really good, but they aren't... Gain 3,000 life points. This face-up card is removed from the field. Take 3,000 damage. Okay. That's okay. Oh, hey, I know that card. The one in the top left. I've seen that one a lot of times. Monsters effect, Monster effects cannot be... Oh, that's a nice card. I'd love to have that. A sorcerer that draws power. Select one monster on the field and return it to the owner's hand. That would have been good for last time. Oh, and I got a uh, field card. That's nice. Or whatever it's called. Yep. Or at least I think it's called a field card. All right, let's see what else we got. That last card seems to all oh, pot of greed. Oh man, I love that card. So probably what I'm gonna do um, at the end of every episode or so, I'm gonna do a few of these card things because uh, you do get new booster packs. And we'll have a look at what they are. And then uh, I will make my own deck. But I don't know if I'll show that uh, in this. 
but I remember this. This card required a thousand of your life points, and it's and it's only they only made that even because it's a four star that can do a lot of damage because it's like one of the very few four star monsters uh, that does two thousand attack. So when this card is normal summon, you can shuffle one card from your hand into the deck and then draw one card. Then you can special summon it if it is a monster. That's not bad. All right. Let's do a couple more, and then I'll go ahead and end it. Hopefully, my audio recorded this time. I have, I've never seen these before. During your... You play a sermon when shop cards activate, except during... Turn this face. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Oh, I've used that card. A rescue rabbit cannot be special summoned from the deck. Banish this face up card. You control special summon two low four other monsters with the same name from your deck. Destroy them during your end phase. You can only use the effect of rescue rabbit once per turn. Oh, well, that makes sense. Monster equipped with this card increases. Not bad, not bad. Fire breathing monster. Okay. I haven't seen this one before. That looks weird. All right, we'll do one more. Oh, the starfish. 600, 700. Not bad, not bad. All right. I'll go ahead and open more of these off screen, uh, probably. Or I might just save up my DP. So in the next episode, uh, we'll take on, I believe, I don't even remember his name, but we'll take, we'll do the great moth and we'll take on the bug duel guy with the freaking man eater bugs and everything. So in the next episode, we'll do that. See you guys then.